keep your home dry and your family safe from mold and mildew. When there's a leak, call Surf and Turf Roofing and Gutters. We offer emergency tarps, leak detection and repairs, replacement roofing, skylights, gutters and gutter guards, and maintenance plans. Financing available. Visit www.surfandturfroofing.com. All right, guys, rise and shine. It's weather time. Happy Friday to you. The weekend is here, and it's not going to be the greatest. It's going to be really, really cold going into tomorrow, but that's not our focal point right now. After we get through our storm for today, we can start talking about that cold weather. But for today, we've got a winter storm, accumulating snow. Things are going to look beautiful, but it is going to be quite dangerous to be out on the roads, especially in the afternoon and evening. 29 in Philadelphia, 31 Atlantic City, 29 in Washington, 22 in State College. We have the snow moving across the area. We've got a yellow to red light across the board on your travel. By 11 o'clock, temperature is around 31, and I think that's where we stay for the majority of the day. That snow is overspreading. It's going to become steady. It's going to become heavy at times for the afternoon. Still sticking with my idea of a widespread two to four inch event with pockets of four to six, basically right where that inverted trough sets up, our Norland trough. We've been talking about that for a couple days now. So take it slow on the roads. We will have accumulating snow. For some areas, it will be a plowable snow. That continues to move through the region into the morning. That area of low pressure deepens offshore a little bit later on. There is a chance that we get a little rain to mix in, a little wintry mix down towards the shore, Atlantic and Cape May County beaches specifically. That'll cut down on the accumulations there. But on the mainland, this is going to be a mostly snow event especially west of the parkway. It'll still be snowing right through about the dinner hour, then finally pulling away from our region as we go into uh, late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Then that's when that big bout of cold air comes our way from Canada. Real field temperatures tomorrow in the single digits in the morning. So our storm is going to be going over water that's between 65 and 72 degrees. I think that's going to expand our precipitation shield throughout the course of the day. And uh, right to the north of where that trough sets up is where we will have a narrow band of say four, five, six inches of snow. Not everybody is going to get five or six inches. That's not how this works. A baseline of two to four with some areas due to enhancement getting four to six inches. So our snow threat's a moderate, wind threat's low. There's virtually no wind today. Icy threat is a big concern. So the snow is falling on a layer of ice already because most of the stuff from Monday night, Tuesday morning has not melted yet. It's actually frozen over. So now you're gonna have the fresh powder that will freeze tonight. So all kinds of icy issues tomorrow and uh, we are not looking at any flood concerns out of this system. Let's look at where we go forward. Tomorrow, windy cold, blowing, drifting snow. Sunday, mostly clear skies, 31, 36 on Monday. Then we do warm up into the 50s, but we throw in a chance of rain. I hope you'll join me at 7 o'clock for my morning live show where we'll go over all the details of what you can expect throughout the rest of today.